Causing the commotion when the music hit me Coming like a potion, why? Mm -hmm. Alright Everyone Welcome to my channel Welcome to my channel So today I'm going to be talking about my spa experience So I went to the spa um, I've even forgotten when I went I, I think I went early this month I think I, I went I went on um, when was it? Oh, it was on a Saturday I went for the spa I went for you know um, an extraction for my like for my acne for my face and for like exfoliating and you know other things actually it was like who forced me to go it was my mom my mom was like Go for spa, go for spa, when you go for spa, your face will be, mm, it will be spotless, it will be, you know, it will be beautiful, everything will go, so like, you know, and I wanted, I really, really wanted everything to go, so I was like, okay, I was like, I'll go for the spa, and then, you know, so I decided to go for the spa, and I'm just doing a whole take on my experience with it. I love the spa. I like the whole serenity. I love the whole, you know, the pampering, the everything. But then, the acne extraction, my face was swollen. I did not really, you know, take like a video or like a picture of when they were done with my face. But then I, there are videos of like when I went for my spa treatment. And you will see those videos when I'm done talking. So, you know, um, what can I say? It was, the experience was really, really nice. It was okay. I, I liked it to a certain extent. But did it help with my acne? Did it help with my face? Um, I would say I'll give it maybe like 25%. Yeah, it did help. Just 25%. It helped my acne but like when i was done with the whole facials because i went to her mom i went to her mom's spa and you know they are like lebanese women that do this facial thing it was quite expensive but then i i wanted to you know try it i don't know if it was worth my money i i think it would have been worth my money if i didn't have so much acne and maybe maybe if you didn't have so much pimples you know on your face and then you wanted to go and remove your blackheads or maybe your whiteheads or you just wanted to go and clean your face maybe you have a function you're going tomorrow or you're going for a wedding you say okay yeah is your money worth not when you have like acne like when you have pimple i had one here but it's like going and whatever so it was the experience was uh, it was it was nice it was really nice and comforting and everything really nice but then i wouldn't really say that that was what helps with my acne i wouldn't say that um i think maybe i'll do a video of the things i did that helped with my acne well i'll just give you a brief you know a brief kind of thing that helps number one my diet when i started having this issue people did not know that i felt so of uh, some kind of way because like when i go out people be like oh do, do you have um chicken pox i went to buy something i went to buy something so i went to the pharmacy section to go and get some things to ask them for you know a drug it has happened to me like this i think this was like second time it's happening to me and it, they were guys it's not like I'm like, oh, it's a guy, oh my god, no, no, but like, the first time I went, I went to get something, and then I saw, like, I wanted to buy dusting powder and, you know, some other things, so like, when I was getting the dusting powder, so there was a man there, he was like, oh, that th this will help with your face, it will help, I was like, god damn, like, let a bitch leave, leave me alone, like, how was it then that like, the, the 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 pharmacist he's a guy so he was just looking at me and you know like i talked to him he was just like i was just like we we're like i was like okay he was like no 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 it's not like he's trying to say anything no it's not like he's trying to offend me or that know that him too that ah that his face before he had it 
Now can't I see his face? Now he doesn't have it. That that's what he used. That he used the um, um dusting powder and he used the one other mentholated soap like that. I was like, God, please take me away from this place before I burst. It was so annoying. Like, oh God, annoying it was. And my second experience was of I think like three weeks ago or like two weeks I think three weeks ago I also went to that same place I went to buy something so I was asking the guy I was asking him a question on um, some hormonal you know some hormonal pills and everything if they like if they have it and everything and he was recommending some I was like oh I'm going to go and you know research any because before I take anything I like to like google it I like to get to know what it's all about before I put it in my system so then I met this I won't say he's a guy he's a man I met this man and then he was like you know he was like um excuse me dear do you have this no he was like excuse me there is that chicken pox god I wanted to just strangle this man I was like look you just saw me here I came to buy something like, as in like so the pharmacist is always when that guy is around and he was just looking, I was just looking at him, I was like, God. And he was like, no, 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 he's not trying to offend me. I was like, no, it's okay. I told him I've had worse, I've had worse scenarios, I've had worse situations where people have said even worse things to me. So I was like, I've had worse. He was like, no, 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 no. He was not like that. What if he's trying to toast me? I was like, okay, okay. That, that will work well. That, that's your approach. I was like, no, no, no. I was just like, as in, I just zoned him out. I was like, okay i don't care what you're saying right now i just want to buy what i want to buy because it was like late it was like nine o'clock and i had to like be going home it's like okay i've heard i've heard it's okay so on my way coming out of there because i actually went with my sister my junior sister so my way coming out of there so like he came with his car a white mercedes well, i don't even know the the I think it was a Benz and then he was like oh hey hello hi um I'm sorry for what I said in there I hope you didn't take it offensively I was like no I didn't and then I wanted to go and check another pharmacy it was one another pharmacy very close by so I wanted to go there and check he was like oh where am I going that he would drop me off because you know I, I walked from my house down he said oh he'll drop me off blah, blah. I was like no thank you so like that's just the end of the story well blah 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 Anyway, so that's just to tell you how annoying it has been for me ever since all this happened to me. And then when this happened to me, as I said before, before I started talking about my story, when acne happens, there are so many factors that me, in my wildest dream, I never ever thought that I would know is like, number one is your diet. Diet has a large contribution to do with your acne. I never knew this, but there, there's a book called Eat For Your Type. There's like Eat For Your Blood Group. And then I'm all positive. And then I noticed that, you know, I've been taking a lot of sugar. Sugar is the devil. God, please forgive me. But sugar is the devil. Rice, um, you know, like rice, dairy, milk, dairy. When I got to hear about it, I was devastated. I was like, oh my god, and this is what I normally eat on a, on a daily basis. On a daily, I'll be like, oh, I want ice cream. Or I'll, I'll make rice. I like to make like different kinds of rice. I'll make coconut rice. I'll make stir fry rice. I'll make jello fries. I'll make fried rice. You know, I like to like, you know, eat it sugar. Oh my god. I even have a cotton candy machine. I'll make popcorns. If I'm making tea, I put sugar in my tea. And then on my last birthday, that's when it all started happening. I had a lot of sugar last year. Like, I don't even know. Like, I wouldn't really say that it's like the main factor, but it's one of the main factors. That's my diet. When I got to, you know, hear about this, I was like, wow, I need to do something about it. That's diet number one. Number two, hormones. Your hormonal everything. So, you know as you're growing your hormones changes your allergens and your estrogens or ter 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 testosterone or ter i don't know whatever do they play a huge part in acne because 
you know when you have too much of one it it creates uh, it makes sebum that's sebum the oil glands to produce more oil which kind of clogging and everything so your hormones play a large part also so you have to regulate your hormones and everything if you need to do birth control you take a birth control that has both energy and estrogen you know you take that or you go meet your doctor and everything so the the third factor of acne is you know your environment how you're living like are you living in a tidy environment clean environment how do you live how often do you wash your pillowcase do you know i never have any about the pillowcase thing it's just because of like when i had my issue i was sick and tired of going to the dermatologist the dermatologist oh it was like my second home i would go and my dermatologist i'll be like i don't know what to do about my face again i've tried everything i have done this one i've done the traditional one i've done the natural one i've done everything i it was so as i reached the point where i was so oh i was like god what have i done i need my face i really need my face for what i want to do i need it so like i was just so devastated i would go there he would recommend i was on antibiotics um what do you call it um this antibiotics dr cycling dr cycling they gave me dr cycling i took it for two weeks like uh, i had retin a retin a, retin a is good retin a is good retin a is good for the skin but then you reached the point my dermatologist was like that if he continues he has to give me the power drug there's this power drug called acutane isotretinol you take it you take it um depending on your body weight you can take it for three months you can take it for six months you can take it for four months and it clears your acne but then it has some side effects like you don't you're not meant to be pregnant because it causes birth, birth defects and a whole lot um what else um i had to I had to sign <laughs> I had to sign and then when i told my mom about it, my mom was like, hey hey my child oh, please don't go and take it though before you not give birth but it's not like i won't give birth but i'm not allowed to give birth while on the drug because the drug is raw isotretinol is raw vitamin a so like imagine you're taking raw vitamin a into your system there's a whole lot like number one you cannot be pregnant you have to be on two forms of birth control while taking that drug number two like it makes your skin sensitive to the sun that means you have to be wearing sunscreen help sunscreen now is not even a problem i have plenty in my room i have plenty you have to be wearing sunscreen you have to be drinking lots of water you'll be weak because it makes your bone weak i think you should go research on the drug the drug is uh, there are good reviews and there are bad reviews of the drug some people have said when they take the drug when taking the drug no pimples nothing but when they are off the drug it comes back but then um, dermatologists the fda whatever <laughs> the fda said that if that happens you should you know retake the drug but then i i really wanted to take that drug desperately my dermatologist had already signed has already recommended i have already signed because you have to sign that you're not going to get pregnant because do you know what that drug is if you get pregnant while using that drug your baby will come out the de de deformed a baby can come out deformed blind with maybe one hand missing no hand with no legs you get the drug is just you know i will at that point i was desperate i was like mom i have to go and take that drug it was like a battle between me and my mom my mom was like don't go and take this drug what if something happens to you i was like nothing will happen because there are people that have taken the drug i met a lady and she told me that she took the drug and you know it worked perfectly for her but we all have different systems so i was like i even i, I almost bought the drug the drug is eleven thousand for a pack of for a pack of four the drug is very expensive as it's expensive and you can't find it in any how like pharmacy pharmacy like you have to go to like the top pharmacies like maybe go to h medics or you you can even go to hospital you know they give it to you but when i went to the hospital the dermatologist was like they don't have it right now and that i should go buy it you know myself if not and you know now you know african parents my mom was like 
hysterically disturbing me. I should not take it to the ha huh, that I will not give birth to. I said, Mom, I will give birth. It's just that you're not allowed to. You know, when you're taking it, you can mess around and go and get pregnant. My dermatologist even told me that people he has prescribed the drug for, they will come back and tell him that, you know, they are pregnant now. So what would they do? And that's automatically, that's abortion. You have to abort that child. If not, that child is going to come out in a strange form. So, yeah. So that was one of the listings. But I did not take isotretinol. <laughs> I wish I did. I wish I did. I wish. But I didn't so I so instead of that I, I decided you know I, to go to the spa and everything like that if we walk because my mom was like just go to the spa just go to the spa let's go to the spa let's go. so I decided to go for the spa and then it didn't really work as much as I wanted to my face was swollen everywhere was swollen I, I couldn't even get up I was tired I was weak uh, I, I got some stuffs and you know like these Lebanese people they don't joke with you I couldn't really get footages of like you know them doing the whole thing like them extracting everything because you know you have to like turn off your phones and everything and I didn't come with someone I came with my mom but then she left I was just there I was so whatever and well as we were saying the factors that contribute to your acne it can also be hereditary like from your parents but my dad doesn't have okay my mom occasionally has some but i won't really say that but see like let me just tell you something anybody my doctor just told me this anybody that comes to meet you and tells you that there is a cream there is a lotion there is a cleanser there is a soap that will make your acne go away in one week or even in two weeks it's a lie acne doesn't go like that it doesn't leave like that it doesn't just even the isotretinol you have to take it for a period of six months three months or four months that's to show you and then it, what it does is that it works internally it goes it shrinks your you know your sebaceous gland it does a whole lot because it's from within you hear it's from within your body so that's all I can say. There is no super drug. There is a super drug. There is no magical drug that is going to make you. If now what I'm going to go and buy it by now. There is nothing like that. There are only drugs you can use for a period of time that will work effectively for you. That's all I can say. And then with me, I just changed my diet. I changed my diet. I changed my lifestyle. I changed everything. I wash my pillowcase every one week, like every week. Like I'm going to wash it tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm going, to, I'm going to wash it tomorrow. I wash and I disinfect it because you're going, you're putting your face on your pillow. The oils, everything you rubbed at night. Because I normally, it's mostly at night. Um, I think I'll do a video of it. <laughs> I'll do a video of what I do because it's mostly at night you're meant to really 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 tackle your face and then with my research and everything that I've done I people say it's mostly at night that all these things are more effective than in the daytime you know you do it less in the daytime you get so you know there's so many factors even people people can cause you to break out some of all these bad belly people all these people that hate you in secret they can cause you to break out stress relationships last year i was going through like a bad relationship with one idiot like that so it contributed to my everything with the pressure with pressure of people constantly forever asking me okay, what is wrong with your face it gave me so much pressure so with that stress pressure everything just combined into a ball everything just exploded and then i had i had i had a nymph i had a nymph node like oh, here like a lot it just like i had a nymph node here which wasn't normal so you know and ever i noticed ever since i started eating right dieting i even did fasting water fasting no food for like a whole week just water and juicing and then I noticed when I started doing all this, I started detoxifying myself, you know, 
letting things go like being free you know doing my research i put a lot of time doing my research on my face on my skin on everything doing all this this knowing what i'm allergic to you know i noticed that things started like when i had my nymph uh, like a nymph you can google what a nymph is it's, it shows that there's an infection in the body somewhere and then maybe your white blood cells are seriously fighting this infection so like we didn't know i i like you know my body there is nothing it's just my face like and i noticed that when it's when my nymph started to come down because it was really swollen and really painful i remember when i went to the hospital the doctor was just touching it i was like yo bro but he was he was a cute doctor so i was like <laughs> anyway so like i noticed that when i changed a lot when it started to come my nerves started to come, my face started to come down so like i noticed that okay it has to do with within like no matter what you apply to your face let me just be frank with you if you like go and apply heaven and earth and you don't fix what is within you like your system your body your spirit your everything i don't think it's going to work because you are, you have to you know even while taking that isotretinol when you're done taking it you cannot just okay you just take isotretinol for six months and then boom you start eating junk food you start eating cake start eating sugar fuck it it's going to come back so you know you have to zen in and cleanse and cleanse and cleanse and that's what i have been doing and if you look closely i haven't had i had one on my forehead but you know I let it go naturally yes do you know that pimple has a cycle there's a cycle of pimple pimple like the cycle of pimple is it it forms for four days and it heals for four days or five days which is almost a week that means the life cycle of a pimple is one week if you have a pimple watch it I've done it monitor that pimple the pimple has a life cycle that like it will be red for maybe two days the third day you start seeing your white head starts coming out like that it starts to you know and then there's a saying i read it somewhere don't touch your face like my hands if i'm to touch my face i go get a tissue or i get wipes or i get my clean clothes and i maybe i want to scratch my face i just scratch my face. i'm very conscious about it because your hands has bacteria this shit has bacteria and your face has bacteria bacteria like normally live on the face is like a breeding ground like there are good bacteria on the face and there are bad bacteria and those good bacteria when they get trapped they form pimples and everything like that I, you should do your research if you don't believe me that's what i researched on so like you should get your hands off your face off your face don't be putting your hands always on your face because it can also contribute like that so the life cycle of pimple you just let the pimple be let that shit be that's one of the things that i never did i never let my pimple be i'll always be like i'll always get my mirror like my mirror is even here so i'll get my mirror and then my uh, my hands i'll just be like ding, 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 ding. i'll just be like trying to like pick it out but then i stopped doing that i stopped picking my face i stopped picking at it i stopped i let the pimple heal on its own i was like god i'm going to let you heal and then i noticed that when i said when you when i started to leave my pimple to heal it would heal and then you know like maybe when i'm taking a shower or like i'm washing my face like i'm just doing it and i'm not i'm not like mm, 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 like softly you notice it comes out it will just come out and it will come out solid like the pimple come once that pimple comes out solid it's not going to come back again like it has gone and it has gone but then like if you forcefully press it number one scarring i have a lot of scars from the past ones that you know i forcefully force them to come out like bitch come out of my face so the ones that i left to you know come out this one this one i have right here i allowed this it it was big old. it was big i was using one i was using black soup to do a shimon just in it as in it made me react i don't know i think my body was reacting to that shit. it was 
So I had hair. It may give me bone set on my face. I I make it make I notice that thing. I just I just dumped it out there. I'm not using it again. I will use it on my face again, child. Because it was anytime I put it, it will be like harsh. It's like this do a shoe that is in a it's by Namaste. Anyways, forget about it. So I had that. So like you know, it, it was the first one came because they were two. They were two. I don't know how to start describing it. You just have to allow everything to just come out. So like the first one came, it left. So this one is the second one. There were two mouths. So this is the second mouth that came. And then you know, I left it. I was just cleaning it, pampering it, putting my retin-A on it. And then finally yesterday when I was cleaning my face, it came out and it came out solid. It came out in a solid form. So like I'm just left with the whole this thing right now and then even with the rest of my face if you look closely you will see if you knew me before and you're seeing me now you will be like there's a huge difference there's a huge difference with everything but then i'm i'm not expecting it to just go like that but i wish it could just go like that but then it's a gradual process with me doing what i have to do eating right like just know that ever since i changed everything i changed my diet i changed my lifestyle I changed a whole lot of things and it has been working out for me and then you know we will see how it comes because it's healing and I'm happy that it's healing finally it's healing so that's just it that's just my take on it and I would be doing more videos on skincare because now this thing that happened to me has made me an official skincare expert because I keep on researching on so many ways that I can heal myself by myself using healthy factors, using greenish factors and everything. And uh, well, one of the things that I have been doing is juicing. Juicing has played a huge factor in my life most times i wouldn't even eat i would just be drinking juice drinking water trying to cleanse myself and you know i think you should research on it's right for your type when i started to read it i got to understand a whole lot things that an all positive blood might react to and a positive blood might not react to it so like more of greens more vegetables well this is my juice i know you're wondering it looks kind of somehow right this is lettuce lettuce orange garlic ginger watermelon added mm. actually it tastes nice because of like the orange i put in it And most times what I do is that like if I'm going to eat rice, I eat it with vegetables. Like I don't I uh, eat it with raw vegetables. I would just warm it just small and I eat it like that. I eat a lot of lettuce and I have been losing weight self in the process. So I think you should start using a lot. It helps with the face, it helps with the skin, it makes you flush out everything, you just be peeing everything will just be coming out so it's also a good factor and everything and this is all since morning what's even the time self um the time is is 3 45 it's fucking 3 45 p.m and i haven't eaten anything i just i woke up from sleep said i was going to make this video this is all this is all that I'm, I've taken since today, uh, maybe at night, I might eat something very small. That's to show you how extra I have been with this whole health thing. Mm.
tastes really nice the blue garlic and ginger i actually got because i i did not like juice it i like smoothie it so there are small small chunks of it there so i'm going to show you my that's it so i want you to watch my spa video when i went to the spa my spa experience i think it's going to be long but then i think it's worth it so yeah so please don't forget to share subscribe and follow <laughs> let me say that before you watch the video thank you for watching thank you for listening to my experience and if you're going through the same thing you can leave a comment below and tell you know, share your experience with whatever if you feel what i said you know would help or has helped you or whatever hey remember couldn't get a 20 from my mom now i drive 20 on the left because i'm on i feel the love when i'm riding through the city but i see him looking at me pray the bullets don't hit me from the side yeah but legends never die you know yeah, good weed in my lungs You know where I'm at Straight from the slums And I can't go back No, I won't go back I'm here at the spa I'm about to change my clothes So I'm about to change for my spa session, so I'll change and I'll be right back. Well, as you can see, I've changed into my full attire, so I'm going to go do my spa right now. No, no, I keep on rolling. Guys, I am done and I'm heading home. So, heading home. So guys, I am done. So I am 
going to take my stuff and I'll be heading home very soon. I'm done, so I'm heading out. Are you okay? Okay, now answer, I stop and rap this fight.